Hello and welcome to this short demonstration on basic fiber optics. So right here I have two optical fibers and these uh, marbles of modern technology consist of a tiny strand of glass that's around 10 micrometers in diameter surrounded by another layer of glass that's around 100 micrometers in diameter with a slightly lower refractive index. And this difference of refractive indices allows light to be guided by total internal reflection throughout the fiber for many many kilometers without significant attenuation. So first of all I'd just show that fibers have two different types of cuts at the end phase here. This one is a flat cut as you can see. It's completely smooth and flat right here on top. It's uh, fairly easy to make and fairly cheap but also has the problem that you can get more back reflection if there's uh, an open end. On the other hand we also have angle cut fibers here which you can probably see if I can get this into focus that there's a slight slight angle here and essentially we, we do this because it prevents irritating back reflection from occurring but also it's a bit more tricky to, to fabricate. But anyway let's actually take a look at these fibers and the cross sections up close. So for that I have this handheld fiber microscope here with the probe in view. So let me get the dust cap off and then plug it in. So let's see what we can see on the screen here. Let's see is that in focus? I think it is. Okay. So you can see here it's the, uh, the, um, the cross section and this part here is actually the the, um, the cladding and the core is like a tiny spot right in here in the middle. Actually, I want to demonstrate something that's very important, namely to clean off the fiber. So I'm just going to dirty up the end of the fiber a little bit and we should be able to see some junk on it here. No, I guess my shirt is cleaner than I thought it was. Come on. Let's see. No? Oh, that's a spot. Let me try my finger here. Uh, of course, when I'm trying to make a point, it doesn't work. There we go. Okay, so you can see that. Now this fiber has a bunch of like, white streaks on top of it and that's just like blurred from my, my fingertips that's on top of it. It's really important when you work with fiber optics to clean that whenever you connect two devices because if there's any kind of dirt you can get attenuation, you can even have fibers burn if you use uh, too much power. So by just using one of these cleaning devices here, you can actually move it. Maybe I should demonstrate that in a bit more detail. The idea is that you open this and here there's a white cloth. You simply take the flat face of the fiber and run it against the cloth here like so, and now it should be clean. Yeah, so when you do this, make sure that you glide the uh, fiber over the cloth in three different places, so you don't just um, rub in the same dirt that you just wiped off. Okay, there we go, now it's clean again. All right, so to really demonstrate that this fiber is able to guide light, I'm gonna use this handheld laser here, plug it in up there, and we should be able to see a white spot on the microscope. So let's take a look. Oh, maybe I should take my own device and actually clean this just for good measure. One, two, three, and plug it in here, screw it tight and turn it on. There we go. So now it's emitting light at 13, uh, 1310 nanometers and you can see this bright, bright spot right here. And to prove that indeed we have total internal reflection guiding the light, we're going to prove this by actually bending the fiber a little bit because if I bend this sufficiently, then the critical angle will be exceeded and then light won't be able to be guided through the fiber, it'll simply exit and get lost. So let me tighten this more and more, we should be able to see the light spot gradually disappear as I do this. And there we go, it's almost gone now. Now you can really see this tiny, tiny core surrounded by the, by the cladding. So let go, you can see that it increases in strength again. Very nice, let's just do it one more time, just to prove the point. And there we are. Okay, so that was my first little um, demonstration of basic fiber optics. If you're in a fiber optics lab and just learning the trade, I recommend that you maybe repeat this experiment with whatever equipment you have around, because actually doing these kind of practical experiments is a really good way to get a feeling for how fiber optics works. Alright, that was the first presentation. Stay tuned for more.